spiel about on yesterday that I was going to come to you with um, my art impressions haul. So the first thing that I noticed in the packet was this catalog. This is the art impressions catalog. Um, and it was uh, free with the purchase. All you had to do was get to a certain amount and then they automatically included this in the um in with your purchase and it shows you all of the stamp sets that is part of the 2020 line um no matter what kind it is because they have different types uh they have like the twist and pops and they have um the ones for the action wobbles and they have the windows to the world which is the one that i'm going to show you so it's a really a great inspirational catalog so that you can really see what they have to offer and the examples so if you're like me who takes your stuff out the packet you now can see what they have to offer without trying to figure out the packets um what's in each package and so this book has all of their um all of their uh different categories because they also have separate catalogs so they have the bible journaling um and it tells you know it shows you the ones that, for the bible journaling this one here is the watercolor one and it has uh projects and stuff in it and so you, you can see all of the stamp sets and you can mark off the ones that you have so that you're not duplicating because i know i have one that i duplicated by accident because I didn't look, I didn't have a list. And then this is the winter, the new uh, supplemental winter catalog. And I think I'm going to get this one right here, the castle and uh, um, bus, because it, it's like an open door. It's so cute. I love that. Um, I think that I might get it. And the dies are included with the stamps. You see, it's dies included. When you buy the stamp, it's included with the dies. And um, so, this is the new winter uh, catalog. And so you can see a lot of the nice um, stamps. And this is the new winter release, which is really nice. I got a few of these. As a matter of fact, I have all of these. I, don't, I didn't get the birdhouse, though. Um, but I do have the mini cabin set. I have almost all of them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that is that part. And then I got the new stamps or the stamp sets new to me. Um, and it's the 3D window frame and the dies that go with it. So let me bring you down. So we have the autumn set, this autumn window. And these are uh, clear stamps. And so you can see the nice uh, autumn scene with the pumpkins. And it goes like this. So the wheelbarrow on the tree. That, and then this one is Pleasure Window. And this is, looks like a little doggy. And they're looking out on a river. And this is a, the like the rubber stamp. Some of them are rubber, some of them are clear. Um, we have the Autumn Window, which is, the, it, it's a car but it's an autumn scene, as it were. Yeah. And that's one of the rubber ones. And then um, it says repositional cushion, so you know which one you're getting. Um, it's clean foam. Um, and then these are must be the newer. I don't know if they're the newer ones or older ones, because you see these have names, and I would imagine that these are the older version, because I would think that newer ones would have a name. And so this one is $31.91. This is the church window. So pretty. Then this one, $31.80, farm window. $33.14, walk in the rain. I love this one. Uh, $31.77, cottage window. That, that looks like one of the... um turnabout no circle lids trifolds trifolds there you go okay then we have 
lake house window. Very pretty. And if you can tell, each one of them comes with wording around it. Uh, 74 is the gazebo window. And last but not least, we have 3167 is swan window. Okay, I was reading on my receipt. So this is the swan window. Remember the past, dream of tomorrow, but live in happy in the happiness of today. So it gives you each one of them, as you can see, has wording that goes all the way around them. So that you, um, it has a nice sentiment and it goes in the little window die. I have so many window dies that I did not buy another one because I know I have probably reachability to, um, pick, get a window that from, what do you call this? Um, I just got the kits from, um, Diamond Press. Yeah, from Diamond Press, I have that window die, and yep, see, it will fit right in there. Now, the wording wouldn't fit, so I would have to probably use a bigger window or another window because this is just one of them, and the, the set comes with several windows, so I'm sure one would fit, and if that didn't fit, I have a Martha Stewart window. Um, for one of the designs and I have a, another crafters companion window. So I have windows or I can just hop on my Cricut, type in window and cut me out one of, so I didn't get any, um, but I got all of these, but I really didn't want the window per se because I wanted the frame. Um, also this was my freebie. There's always a free, a limited edition when you order from them. And this is like uh, the third one this so far. Um, and it, they're all like fish related or scene related. Sea. Sea scene related. And I love that. Um, so that's the stamp that I got for this haul. And so I wanted to show you what I created um, from that. So I cut out the 3D frame and I proceeded to put the 3D frame together. It was um, kind of difficult at first because you had to make sure that you fold it on the score line. There's a score line here, a score line here, and the little tabs have score lines. And I, and I did it with this thicker um, mirror card because I thought it would look really cute as a mirrored frame and then you um these tabs just stick in here i put some tape on here um the score tape on on these to keep them down because in my opinion they didn't stay they didn't lay and so and they don't have to lay basically because once you put the window together or the frame together it looks like a cute little frame and it's three by three or uh, three three and three fourths three and three fourths by three and three fourths so the little window is three and three fourths by three and three fourths so in all actuality you could take this here and you could take one of your card bases and put this on a card base and put your design in there and it can become the focal point or you can make a four by four card or five by five card and put this on here and make this a window card and then it opens like that. So if you put someone's face in here or a young child's picture, grandkids, whatever, it would work out wonderfully. But what I did was I took some of my uh, Spectrum Noir Shimmer Paste and this one is... Um, pink champagne and that's the color right there pink champagne is very pretty i took this and i spread it out over my card my design and then i just stamped it right in the middle i stamped it four and a quarter uh, originally four by four because i was going to take it well it was too big and i cut it down to three and a half by three and a half and I was going to put it right behind here 
And so see how that looks. And you can see the wording and everything. But then I decided I didn't want it behind here because the white um, of the paper, I should have picked a double-sided sheet or this um, window frame box here should have been um, two-sided, as it were. And so I cut it down so that it fits directly inside of the window. And I thought that kind of looked better, in my opinion, that it fit in the window. And, but I didn't cut it out straight. So I'm not going to tape it down because I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to make sure it's straight when I cut it. And then I'll put this right inside of this window like that. Well, this is my tester anyway. So it's okay if I do that. Um, because this is, I was just testing it out anyway. Because I'll try to find ideas for our class to make. That is not a hard project. That is not too long of a project um, because I want my seniors to be able to um, do the actual projects also. And if you pick two difficult of things, they won't be able to do that. And so see, it fits perfectly three by three square right inside of there. And so this, this one here was the one that I said I really liked and that's the rain window rain um stamp and it's a cute three by three totally gorgeous idea and so if you did something like this you could actually go back in and take your markers and color in your design if you chose to so you know i'm just gonna color this one in and this will be the one the one umbrella with color. And I, I picked this marker on purpose because it's it blends in with the color that I that pink champagne and spark a shimmer. See that? And so now this is a nice shimmery design and our umbrella sticks out with this mirror card. Can you see the shimmer? Uh, there you go you can see it right there so see how wonderful that looks and then the, it doesn't take away that white kind of was taking it away from me I don't really like it even though most paintings are matted and so it, it might grow on me I don't know and then when you cut this out you cut out this piece here I'm not really sure what this piece is I think it's some type of a ledge piece but it's not really clear. Let's see. Decorative border. It's a decorative border. So you cut for, oh, I see. You cut four of these and they sit in here. They sit in there. So when you cut them out, they are seated. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's this piece here. And so when you cut them out, well, that doesn't make, oh yeah, okay. So it sits here and then the other one sits here and it's mitered. So then each piece is just long enough, is just long enough to fit around here. And it kind of gives a frame around the piece. Um, what I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like about that is you have to cut four of these to get four of those. It's that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? You sh I understand trying to save metal, but you gave us two, two of these extra tag pieces and stuff. This should have been separate, uh, uh, art impressions because now I have to cut out four frames to cut that out. And you didn't even give me a, extra mirror piece whatever okay so then this piece here comes out also which makes sense when you're building a frame this one comes out also and so it scores for you and so that's this piece and what this is this is the frame out piece that makes your frame stand up so what you do is you glue this onto your piece to make this stand up um, and so let's see this 
piece here, the, the, um, this piece here, it is taped or glued directly on the back all the way down and then it tips. So let's grab a little, no, let's not use that. Let's use some score tape because it's stronger. This mirror card, it sometimes is hard to stick to, but we're gonna use this score tape. I'm probably gonna have to invest in some red liner tape too when I'm using something like this. And then let's take this off. And then we're going to make sure that it's at the top, that you connect this at the bottom. You see how I'm making sure that both of them is flat? You make sure that both is flat and, and centered and lay that down. And then now this stands. And if you notice, it's just, it's right on there and it's crooked. Uh, it has to be directly, it has to be on there correctly. But you, the further, there it's on there. See, the further that you lay out your wings, the farther this lays down. But now you have a nice standing easel design. Isn't that cute? That art, when I seen that, I fell in love with that. And I was like, these are perfect little designs. And it gives you just a little bit of what you want to say. And this one is a walk in the rain is, what? Walk in the rain is... It, oh, the, a walk in the rain is fun when you show, share your umbrella with a friend, with a friend. Oh, with a friendo. <laughs> a walk in the rain is fun when you share your umbrella with a friendo. Okay, friendo, with a friend. And so now that stands up. It stands up. Make sure you score your to make sure that it stands up. And it stands up just like that. See? Stands up. I'm putting wind to it trying to make sure it'll stand up. It'll stand up. Just make sure you score your score lines. And so that is a cute little um, give this to somebody when you are... Um, when you give them an extra gift and it's just words of encouragement and it's really a cute idea and um you can put something over the back to cover up these lines so i literally could take a um and before you put this down take a three and a half by three and a half piece before you put this down and put this right over here to cover up. Why is that not three and a half? I just put that on one. Three. Oh, because my line wasn't straight. That, that is not three and a half. There we go. And so now I can just take I can just take this. And to cover up the back piece sufficiently, just like this. So that will also help your tabs lay down. And so you cover that up, just like that. And then you take your, I'm just going to add some extra tape since I pulled that off. And then you just put this back, or put this on. <laughs> You just put this on here evenly so that it will sit, so that it will stand up. And now it'll stand up. And now you have a covering so this looks cleanly when you're giving it to someone. You don't ever want to give anything that looks sloppy or anything that's showing or telling 
or whatever. And so now you have a cute little piece to give um, as a gift. And they have several different designs that you can use that has very cute wordings. Um, uh, uh, the pleasure of life is the pleasures of life are simple. Just add water. <laughs> May the autumn season bring a beautiful harvest full and happiness, full of love and happiness, and so on and so forth. So I would say go to the Art Impressions website and go and look and see and find something cute like this. And then you paint it up. You can stamp a bunch of them, watercolor them. Um, because these are generally this, yeah, this is watercolor. So you can watercolor them all up and, um, cut them down to your desired, uh, length. Either you can do the three by three in the side or cut them to three and a half by three and a half and put it in the back. So it has mat. It just seems to me that the window could have been, um, the words and the windows are so close. So I don't know, but do that and. Uh, either way and it'll turn out fabulous and then I wanted to show you I know you remember yesterday because it was just yesterday I did this uh, haul for heartfelt well I got up with a notion to work with that door because I thought this door was so cute which is the reason why I bought this whole kit was just for the door and so I stamped out the door and this is just a uh, regular paper. It's not watercolor paper or any or marker paper or anything. I colored out, I stamped out the door in brown, and then I used my Copic markers to color in the the gray to make it look like a um, metal or whatever. And then I used the, my blue Copic to color around, and I add the purple and yellow like this because I was trying to go after. Um, how this is blue and it's purple because that looks pink but I mean it looks yeah it's purple and mine looked purple because when you mix that blue and pink together you get that purple tone and then I add a little yellow to be different and then I was drinking my water for the day and I spilled water right there and so I put a sentiment on there and so that's all you really need you just add a little sentiment and now this is a, a card ready to go and then in the in there there is these flowers see these little these flowers i stamped out the flowers and i put a rhinestone in there and i put a couple around um and then i, I want to also show you it was six o'clock i got a meeting um i used th this new glue gun this is the ryobi glue gun and it's battery powered they had a sale on um batteries you buy four amp batteries and you get a tool free and i got the free glue gun and it worked wonderfully it did not drip um very no spillage very few strings um this is a 1.5 amp battery my husband switched with me because the four amp battery is much bigger and heavier so this and this is really pretty light it's a pretty light glue gun with this smaller battery. And they have these batteries for $49 at Home Depot because it's a Home Depot exclusive. And so I used it. And so the glue, um, it, it went on well. It went, of course, you know, it's clear. So it really works and it's very strong. And so it made a good design. And then I took the topiary and I took my... Um, quick dry inks and I dabbed it on here brown dabbed this on green and then I put a little copic so it can look kind of grounded and now you can write on the inside and still have a kind of transparent ish uh inside design and so that was the card that I made with that kit and that that's just the first one. Oh, and this right here this matte layer here is that wallpaper that I told you about that I've been telling you go get you some wallpaper books and that you can find gorgeous designs um, that you can use on your cards. So that's what I did for today. Um, I will do some more testing on this and coloring of some more pictures. And I will see you in the next one.